Oh, here we are. Yeah. Here live. L-I-V-E. Have a look at the house. I know. She is packed. It is. Packed to the rafters. Where are we, Jimmy boy? Oh, Sporting Globe. In Richmond. Richmond. Then they're here. Magnificent. Yep. And I'll tell you what, we've got Joey and uh, Jay-Z soon. Oh, footy. Ooh, talk footy. Because oh. it's uh, footy time of year. It's it September. Is. What happens in September? Finals and the bins go out a oh, bit longer oh, and the lawns get mowed, Jim. The lawns get mowed. <laughs> yes. Hub the, day quiz. Oh, yes, please. Good live, today. live version. L- yes. Uh, Guernsey Cash. Yes. Oh, she's a big... Oh, I've got a question off the top. What? Um, I, I can see Jace here, who uh, packs us in and packs us out with the amazing equipment. Yeah. Uh, I can see uh, Maddie here, of course. Mm. I can see. Uh, Ma- By the way, Maddie, Maddie from the booth. Very rare sighting of Maddie. <laughs> Normally stuck in the booth, but he's with us, which is good. He's like that owl. Uh, uh, well, Angela's here, of course. She's been looking after us for years. Hey, Andrea. D- yeah, Andrea. Paul, yeah. Andrea's Andrea. Andrea. Yeah. Paul Zoe is our producer. She's yes. magnificent. Who else do you see out there? Beers, he's here. He does yeah. the uh, <laughs> he does the digital for us. He's a star. But then I see Jasper. Jasper. Mm. Heath. He's not quite right. Onion. Onion. Yui. Yep. Matty O. What, what are they all doing here? <laughs> I don't know. Why aren't they at work? Because, you know why? Free piss. <laughs> <laughs> it gets everyone out, Jimmy Boy. Even our boss, Jay, who doesn't drink, well, come down that no, way. No, Jay's having a <laughs> he's, he's here, which Jasper's is good. has got a jug. He's got a jug. I saw Jasper, wa- and he walked out of the OB site. <laughs> so he's gone and f- found a bar somewhere to drink a jug on his own. i tell you who else is here. Who? The VIP table. Oh, Brendan yes. and Brendan. the boys. <laughs> yes. A couple of knockabouts, Jim. Look like they're in data or something like that. No, um, some sort of in the high vis communication yeah. type stuff. Ten minutes off site they are. There. It's good oh, to see them. They've knocked off early. Them. That's what they've oh done. And the Rush Hour family are here too. Yes. We love them so. And yeah. we just fired them up with a bit of sweet Caroline. Well, you yeah. did. You did. My man Osk is ready for. He's got some questions. Hard hitting. Oh, they're good. coming a bit later. Yes. Collingwood fan, so he's flat. Collingwood. They yeah. didn't make it. No, did they, they didn't make no, it. Poor no, old no, We didn't make flat. it. They didn't make it. No. All right, Fat. Yes. Uh, nice to see you, by the way. Great to be here, Jimmy boy. You've just eaten. I just had a. And it doesn't lovely. surprise anyone that we both had a chicken parmigiana. Yes. Mine had salad. Mm-hmm. Yours. Mine had chips. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what I had. Massive bucket of chips. I think it's called the Petrarca pajama, pajama oh. or whatever it's called. <laughs> a Petrarca. <laughs> Parmajama. Parajama <laughs> into a parmajama. I had a parma anyway. And it was very nice, wasn't it? Was it was very, very nice. It was. This one just... Uh, the Petrarca. Wants to go to another pub, but this <laughs> one... Oh, 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 oh. They're downstairs, They're downstairs. Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne are too. The heavy be... hitters are oh, downstairs. No, no, we've got to be very... And, and Goody will punch you in your fat head. Yeah, and i tell you what, it's out there. Be very careful. Windy, Jim. Yes. Bloody windy. Yes. It's only 40 Starting Ks. Rain. 40 Ks on the West Coast, so be very careful. Hello, Raps. You, you got a dartboard in your uh, room? No. <laughs> you haven't? No. no. <laughs> That's the worst interview you've ever done. Ever Bill. done. You, and you were a part of no, it. You were a part of it. No, I was not. And he's not invited here because there's plenty of dartboards downstairs. Magnificent dart experience. And upstairs. Yeah. Well, well, it was a good straighten up for you two mm. to mm. understand that if I'm not there, oh. shit hits the fan. <laughs> so now you know it right. and you won't try and do it again. All right, oh, here we go. You ready? What time is it? Final footy. Rappy, no. rappy. <laughs> <laughs> rap, 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 rap. Now on Triple M. These two are here. It's Jay-Z Clark and Joey Montagna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on, Brendo. We're, we're, <laughs> we're getting news out of Jay-Z in just a second, but it's my first sighting of, of the man we call the Greek wombat or yeah. sometimes the Greek meatball. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened? Oh. We sent you up to Castle Maine. Castle oh. Maine. We gave you the greatest send-off of Ca- all time. Cas- Castle Maine. Castle yeah. Maine. They hate being called how, Castle Maine. If you, you know, know how to speak. And yeah. then you went there... And Joey, yeah. you embarrassed you, us. You shanked your only kick and destroyed your quad in the process, and that was it. You lasted 18 and, seconds. And how would you know what it's called? Because you're there for 18 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> the locals told me. Yeah, I'm sorry for embarrassing the Triple M family oh, and the Rush Hour family. 
Uh, You're I thought a bloody it, star. We set you up with confidence. I thought I'd prepped up and was ready to yes, go. Yes, you and, um, Unfortunately, first kick, yeah, tore the quaddy and then tried to be a heroic performance and play on, but I couldn't. No. And that was it. How many minutes did you actually train for? <laughs> like, when yeah. you jump on the treadmill and you've got to set the timer, yes. like, was it seven, Was it above or under seven minutes? Under or over? <laughs> I didn't see a treadmill. <laughs> I went for a, I went Not for, a, for ten years, anyway. <laughs> went for a few runs and a few walks, but unfortunately, yeah, sorry, JB, didn't go too well. No. Yeah, we were embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. I know. No, no, no. The whole family. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. And we did see his name on the team sheet for a dad's game, a school game no, this weekend. Go and? On. And, uh, well, we had to send him off to the scanning clinic. We sent him down to Dr. Peter Larkins to try and scan this injury yep. because we thought he faked it for the 15 grand cash. <laughs> and uh, the great Dr. Peter Larkins checked the scan, no damage. No, no. <laughs> he's all good. No. So he's taken Castlemaine's money yes. and he owes him a game, Joey. Oh, yes. my God. I'm not playing in the dad's game this Saturday. No. I'll give you the tip. Do man. not play. <laughs> ever, uh, I'm tipping never again. Um, now, <laughs> Jay-Z, yes. come on. underneath us are yes. the Melbourne Football Club Shh. admin. Yep. So not the players, but the staff. And uh, we're so happy coach. to see me. They yeah. were wrapped when I walked <laughs> in the front door. So let's keep Christian... Clark, he's here. Awesome. <laughs> Let, let's keep Christian low, but what's going on with him? Yes. Yeah, it's quite an extraordinary situation, seriously. Like the biggest trade story since Chris Jard in, what was it, 2007... The divide is pretty deep and there is serious angst, there's no doubt about that, between the Norm Smith medalist and his players because they've tipped into the team, the team culture, it's all about the demons and now they've got an absolute superstar who's really trying to look after his own interests, isn't he, by exploring this trade. now. His brain. He's his brand. Now, everyone will say, well, why, what do you want to leave? And he says his, his issues, his concerns, they were, you know, life-threatening. He was disappointed about, in the end, in hindsight, upon reflection about the way his injuries were handled, because I was listening to Triple M of the game call, and all you guys were saying, Petrarca has to get off. Robbo was having a fit down on the band. They've got to get him off. He's got to die out there. And as it turns out, he's ruptured spleen, etc. So Robbo was onto the fact there were uh, serious internal injuries, yet he was allowed to play on by the Melbourne medical staff. So he, uh, he's not rapped about that. So how likely leaving? He, he wants to go. And he's managed by probably the most powerful crew in it, in Paul Connors and Robbie DeRazio, oh. or just about. And oh. history... Two breath. And history... <laughs> so, uh, history so, says you. Connors' clients get to where they want to go. Oh. And, and where's that? Carlton or Collingwood would be the two. Ooh. Now, at the moment, Carlton and Collingwood say, we don't have any picks. Yes. Like, we're not going over and above. And that's the smart way to play it, right? Because at the moment, you don't show a lot of interest. And as it's sort of out, as the water flows under the bridge, then potentially you might see something flush out later in the trade period. For now, Melbourne says he's not going anywhere. But I think it's a big one to watch and... Um, and you never know. What do you we, think? We, do you, we have to hear from yeah. him. I'd love to hear from him. Well, you know, directly. We, we what, haven't what do you heard want him from to him? say? Yeah. I want to be honest. Because you hear this, you hear that. I'll tell you one thing you can't do, Joey, as a player at a, at a club. Oh, my God. You <laughs> cannot <laughs> lose your teammates, can you? No, no, that's correct. You cannot lose your teammates. Yeah. And it feels like that's starting to happen a little bit, starting to fracture amongst the teammate. That's when it becomes messy. Mm. I agree. You've said, Joey, I've heard you say a thousand times, don't keep a player against his will. If a player wants to go... Just try and make out the best situation because what are you going to? If you've got Christian Petrarca unhappy now, what's he going to be like next year? If uh, you know, with cultural sort of question marks around the club already, what's it going to be like if he's sucking in the corner? That's where it does. It feels awkward. It'll feel awkward, and then it feels awkward for say the rest of his teammates because they're going to look at their at their leader in Christian, their best player, and think, "How committed are you? You wanted to jump ship over over summer, so if he does stay, it's going to be hard." And I think we've realised now life goes on for footy clubs even if you lose your best players. Hawthorne lost Franklin, yeah. Geelong lost Ablett, Adelaide lost Paddy Dangerfield. They all went on to play in grand finals. These things happen. The club can you know, continue to move forward. And um, I think that if it continues down this path, I think it probably is in Melbourne's best interests. Uh, all I know is uh, if it's uh, Robbie or as I call him, Swagger Derazio yes. involved, that deal will get done. <laughs> what else, Jay-Z? Yeah, I think Jake Stringer is also a big story. Now, at the moment, now we didn't know this. We thought Jake Stringer was out of contract the end of this year. It's incorrect. He had a trigger clause. We didn't know about it. It's a secret one. And he's already met that game's trigger. So Jake Stringer has a deal at Essendon. But it's a big watch this space as well because does Essendon need to shake up its list? Do they need to move beyond Jake Stringer? I think it's a fascinating question for the coaching staff at the moment. He had... Five possessions in the loss to Brisbane Lions at the weekend. Played 65% time on ground. I think he started every quarter on the bench. Now, he wants a multi-year deal. And if he gets that from a rival club, 
then I think that Jake Stringer could seriously entertain that. The fallback, as I said, is the one-year contract extension at Essendon. It's uh, modest money. He did kick 42 goals. Now, that's one less than Jamara Eugle Hagen. Mm. So, but if you're a contender, if you're Hawthorne, if you're Geelong, if you're Carlton, imagine having Jake Stringer, a 40-goal forward, play deep forward as your fourth or fifth best forward. Would he appeal to you, Joey? For a team that's a contender? Absolutely. Yeah. Jake Stringer's a good footballer. I think he's sometimes a bit, a bit of a scapegoat. As you said, 42 goals. He can go into centre bounce and win clearance. He, he's, a, he's a handy player. If I'm messing, I'd, I'd want to keep him. I think maybe you come to a compromise, offer him one year with a, a, a trigger for a second year if he meets a, a games requirement or something like that because um, Essendon should be playing finals in the next couple of years, and I think he's a part of that. I wonder whether there's going to be a bit of a shake-up. I, I keep hearing out of Essendon that Brad Scott's keen to make a bit of a statement after missing the finals again. What did they lose? Seven of their last nine games. There's clubs having a look at uh, Jaden Laverty, who's an important defender there uh, for the Bombers. So he's got one year left on his deal. Essendon probably want Zach Reid to come up and take his spot. Laverty didn't start the season in the senior side, so that's a bit of a watch. Essendon saying uh, they want him to stay at the moment. And also Ben Hobbs. So the Bombers have got a midfield logjam at the moment, you know, with uh, Setterfield. They've got Elijah Sardis coming up. We know Parrish, Merritt, Caldwell, Durham. So uh, Hobbs might be one. And Collingwood is a club who's just having a look at Ben Hobbs. So they want a physical presence around Nick Dacos to take some of that load. Um, so that's a potential deal. Could be quite cheap, to be honest. Now, considering Collingwood want pick 20 for the loss of Johnny Noble, they could potentially get in Mark Keane from Adelaide and also maybe Ben Hobbs as part of that swap. Do you rate him at all, Ben Hobbs, Joey? Uh, I liked him in his draft year. Uh, I thought he was he's a, a high talent. Just whether the game, the transition game, has suited him or not at this stage, we haven't seen enough of him. But again, I think it'd be good for a club to have a crack at him. What about Jay Z this time oh, of year? Oh, he, he gets can't rolling. Shut you him can't up. stop him. <laughs> he, he literally yep. is a juggernaut. He is. Well, we've got the boys for another 20 to 30 minutes. So make sure you stick oh, no. around and head to Triple M Rush Hour Instagram if you've got questions for all four of these boys. They will answer them ahead of the finals kicking off next weekend. Rabsy, my wife's got other words for me. He yes. hasn't called me a juggernaut lately, I can no, assure you. I wasn't speaking from the female <laughs> perspective. More with JB, you Bill, Joey and Jade next. You Triple M's Rush Hour live from the Sporting Globe, Richmond. Told you about the Petrarca Palmer. Mm. There it is yeah, there. You just didn't get it out right. Yes. Uh, I wanted to combine two great classics, Palmer and Bolognese, into one delicious dish. Well, speaking of combining uh, two classics, Joey and Jay have stuck around. By the way, if you've got questions for the boys, head to Triple M Rush Hour Instagram. Make two him, tickets, me by hungry. the way. Oh, mm. Western Bulldogs Hawthorne, for me, Joey, are the two hottest acts in our final series, and they're going to knock each other out. Yes, they are. Uh, it's it's going to be a cracking final. I tell you what, it opens up for the winner though. Oh, doesn't it, Justin? Because they will play most likely Geelong mm-hmm. at the MCG. So which... they lose to Port Adelaide. I they? think so. I think Port Adelaide <laughs> should win at home. Then they then the team that wins out of Hawthorne Bulldogs will face Geelong at the MCG, so they that's don't the, travel. That's two uh, home games yeah. in a row. Then they'll only have to travel once to a, probably Sydney or Giants, depending on and the result. And then they play at the MCG, and most likely. We'll play against an interstate team yeah. on Grand Final Day, oh, where, like it, Joey. where yeah. Victorian teams have a great record against yeah. interstate teams if they meet in the Grand Final. There's a headline in that. Montagna says cats out in straight sets. Mm. Yes, exactly. I got a question for you. I wanted to know when you heard this, Joey. Did this ri- uh, raise your eyebrows? Actually, <laughs> oh, no, no, what the just hell one. Is he trying to say? <laughs> Did this raise your eyebrow? <laughs> <laughs> what he's saying is unibrow. Well, he is. He's got. He's yeah. Uh, Seb Ross. Seb Ross getting uh, no, like listed at St Kilda. Probably wasn't it wasn't a shock. I think that with St Kilda, the rebuild they're at and the, the stage of their career, there was going to be some senior players that weren't going to get recontracted. I think Tim Embry's still out of contract Ooh. as well and a few other yeah, senior man. players. So, unfortunately, it's just part of the regeneration, I suppose, of this St Kilda list. He's been a star, though, Sebi. A wonderful teammate, great leader, a two-time best and fairest winner, as you said earlier. So... A shame for him. Maybe there's a chance another club might have a little sniff, but um, if not, he's had a great career. How many did you win, Joey? No. You, no, did, no. you did play in an era when no. it was star-studded. Jim, don't bring that up. Nick Revolt. Hayes and Revolt won nine. Benny Hayes. They won nine between them, so it made it hard BJ for got a... Did you come second Nick or Del third? Or no, Dal and BJ, Dal and BJ didn't win any either. A few seconds and thirds, Jeez. but no, no wins. What did you win there at the club, Henry? He came uh, second. He'd won second. Jack Stephen. Respect. And you still haven't forgiven. <laughs> Most kickouts. You can't, 
He won about as much as you, Fat. Yeah. I think I come fourth one year in the best Fourth in the BNF. Yeah. And leading goal kicker. Right. When Gary Ablett was injured or finding God? When he, when he, when he, did, he went missing, yes. And, <laughs> and then he came back on Easter Monday and played that game in yeah. the VFL. That was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Good timing, that. Now, Jay-Z, what's happening? Are we here today yep. that Liam Baker... Yes, Wants to go back to Perth. Yeah, so it's an extraordinary situation that un- unfolding at Richmond. So Jack Graham, Daniel Rioli, Shea Bolton, and uh, also Liam Baker are all headed out. I worry for Adam Uze because when he got appointed coach of the Ooh. Tigers a year ago, he was looking at the players. Yeah, Bolton, what can he become? Top 20 player in the competition. Rioli can count on him. Baker sets the standards. <laughs> Culture man. And they're all gone. So I think this doesn't augur well. Uh, for Adam and I think it's going to put him under extraordinary pressure next year because it strips them of some of their best players. They're going to leave Taranto and Hopper as two pillars. They came to the club thinking they were going to stay in contention under uh, Damien Hardwick. Uh, uh, Excuse um, me for one second, Daisy. Robbo, I don't know what it's like in Merrick's. It's pissing down. (laughs) It is in Richmond. Have a a look at this fat. (laughs) It is throwing it down on us. Yeah, it's rain. It's okay. Bill, it's pissing through a hole in the roof. I don't know if you can go with that. I don't think there's a hole in the roof. (laughs) What do you reckon that is? A hole in the roof. (laughs) (laughs) No, but it meant to be a hole in the roof. Keep going, Jay-Z. Keep going, Jay-Z. So they're going to end up with six or seven picks uh, in the first round of the draft. It's a massive reset, but, I mean, how how tough is Richmond going to find it next year? There's going to be... Uh, some significant losses. I think it's Uze is going to become a story what? pretty quickly. Tougher than this year. Well, they won two games this year, and that was with Rioli, Baker, Graham, and um, and uh, I'm missing one, uh, but Bolton as well. So, yeah. geez, it's going to be tricky for them. They'll bring in the kids, but traditionally, you know, rebuild coaches they find it very hard. We know the Brennan Bolton story, so it's going to be a difficult. Liam Baker has requested a trade today. Expect him to go back to one of the uh, Western Australia clubs. Uh, that'll be the Eagles or Fremantle, clearly. Right, Rebs. Uh, Jay-Z, Max from Instagram's asking if Geelong are looking at anyone other than Jake Waterman and Bailey Smith. Jake Waterman? Oh, I think that could potentially round them out. As I said before, Laverde uh, earlier has attracted a little bit of uh, interest, whether he could become a bit of a replacement for, for Blitzars. That's probably more chatter than anything else. But I think Smith and Waterman... Uh, could be the only two. They were interested in Clayton Oliver and Melbourne Adamant. He will stay as well. But um, I think Smith uh, will keep their hands full, Max. Uh, Joey Dieter from Instagram is asking, oh. with microchip being introduced soon, do you believe there will become a time without goal umpires? Oh, I think we'll always oh. have them, but uh, we'll become less reliant on them and we'll become uh, better for it when we just get the um, technology correct. Like the Hawkeye cricket... Tennis works beautifully. We'll get to that stage of footy. Well, it works beautifully until the ball's not going to hit the stumps yeah. and they still go, that's hitting the LB. stumps. Then <laughs> um, that banana, that half-wit that threw the bottle, yes. uh, do we know any ruling on oh, a think, life ban for him? Yeah, or? I think he's looking at a life ban, to be honest, which is probably the right call, I reckon. How, it is the right call. Um, that's exactly what should happen if you're going to throw objects at officials what, or players what, or anyone. And an official who's facing the other way and only doing his job. It's cowardice. It's yeah. disgraceful. Mm-hmm. Anyway, keep going. Uh, we'll get you brand Brownlow tips after the song, but one final one before we go to the song. How many cashies is Fat going to do during finals? Oh, oh yeah. Who's? Me? You. Uh, Sean's asked that from Instagram. Uh, all above board. Oh, above board. B- BT People. used to carry around a suitcase. He did. What are you going to do when cash, we no longer have cash and it's yeah, all that's, like that's a, a all real, technology? That's a real worry. <laughs> a real worry in this world. <laughs> yep. How can you not have cash? Like, yeah. It'll Easily. Get... It's no. on your phone. You just tap it. I don't care. You just no tap one... it in. We don't just like doing give it a that. Little tappy. It's <laughs> stupid. Where do, we you keep... where do you keep your cash? Under the pillow or where do you keep it? Oh, no. It's just somewhere I bury it. You buried it. <laughs> and then and forgot. And then Chris Scott bought his house. <laughs> he did. And really? he took a metal no. detector around the Scotty's point <laughs> and started wandering around his backyard trying to find it. And found it. <laughs> uh, I dug a big hole and the bloke came out. It wasn't Chris Scott. Hate to see what else he found. Well, and the bloke came out and said, what happened there? Big hole. I said, oh... Our family dog died and we buried it. But the kids wanted it back, so I had to take it back. (laughs) You're a sicko. One more break with Jay-Z and Joey, live from the Sporting Globe in Richmond. We'll get the boys brand low tips, week one finals tips as well. Make sure you pop on down to win that ticket to double pass, the Bulldogs versus Hawthorne, Triple M's rush hour. And Joey, it's stuck around. Before you start talking, I've got questions from the audience. Well, While you chat, just I'm going to give two, yes, each go. of you one of these to read out at the end. Two tickets, of course, to the Western Bulldogs oh, Hawthorne yes. final if you get yourself here to the Sporting Globe. Uh, JC. Yes. 
I've noticed something creeping into your industry, and I'm going to ask you directly about it. Is it, like, is it about our belt size or our no, waist size? No, the no, expanding it's, nature. no. It's oh, about print journalists now going with the sentence, who spoke on the condition of anonymity. Yes. That's, that's as weak as piss. Right. You either quote who told you yes. or you don't go with it. Sometimes you need to just source things a little anonymously because they say go with this but don't put my name to it. If well, you how know do we I mean. know you're not just not you because you're the best? Incredibly right. trustworthy. How, how do we know you're not just making it up? Yes. Well, and that's where that's where you got to you got to have your favourite journals, your favourite right. authors, and you believe exactly what they say. But the the age does have that saying. You know, we spoke to someone who couldn't speak, yes. uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, he's just throwing oh, the age under the age. <laughs> hey, there is, um, yes, there is news too out of Adelaide, which has just happened only moments ago. The great Taylor Walker, who's a friend Excellent. of the program. Yes. yes. New one-year deal for him at the Crows, so uh, he'll well be done. going good. on next year. Is that the is that, How much good footy has he got left, Joey? One year. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that bad back, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. He, does. he might not play every game. I think Phil Thorpe and Fogarty are going to be an awesome duo. He'll be happy to hear that out of his one good ear. <laughs> well, he'd hear it from here. Yes, <laughs> he hasn't got any cartilage in his other ear. Now, I want to ask you about the All-Australian. A couple of players that were unlucky to miss out on the squad. Yep. Callum Wilkie, I thought, had a really good year, and Rowan Marshall. Yep. But are we going to see real wingers, or are we going to see midfield wingers? No, I'm OK with just one winger being named. I don't think we need two wingers. Surely There's only a handful of good wings in the comp, to be fair. So as long as there's one winger, I, I think we need to put a midfielder out on the other wing because there are so many good mids, yes. you need to get them in because it is a, a, a big accolade to be an All-Australian. So I think someone like a Zach Merritt will be on one wing and Errol Goulden will absolutely be on the other wing. I agree. All right. Are we going with these questions or have we got more? Um, I reckon go with them. All right. How, I don't know who's giving me this one. Uh, fat. How many X's in front of the L on your shirt size? <laughs> uh, two. A double XL. Um, three. Oh. <laughs> Same as Joey's. Oh, I've got no way. <laughs> I'm working my way up to your level. Yeah. Well, what, you is your, what is your favourite pasta dish, Joey? Uh, no, gnocchi. <laughs> gnocchi. Yes. I love a good gnocchi. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that's Reaching not right. Question, Bill. <laughs> that's not Reaching right. Reaching question. <laughs> What's your favourite knocky? No, <laughs> Do you think you'll get more kicks than Joey at Castlemaine, Jay Z? Oh, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon you'd get more? I could be asleep and get more touches <laughs> than Joey had. This one uh, is this a clanger. JB, this is for you. If you could go on a holiday with one person, who would you rather go with, Ange Christie or Anthony Kudafidis? Oh. <laughs> I think the big Greek god I'm going with. Well, both are. I'm going with him because I think he'd, he'd, You'd he'd be the forge wingman. a path <laughs> and then I'd just fall off. <laughs> Would you? Oh, I've got one for you, Billy. You know I'm your biggest fan. I listen all the time. But, but what are all these Crystal Club mentions about? Oh. <laughs> I'm not familiar with the Crystal no. Club. Are you no. declaring no, these? No, no. <laughs> What's that about? I'm a member of the uh, Crown of the Crystal Club. <laughs> yeah. And yes. what happens my favourite soccer team yeah. is Crystal Palace. Palace. Yeah. Yeah. And and when, it's just a, when you go up to the Cairns, you stay at the Crystal Brook Resorts. Oh, do I? Yes. <laughs> yeah, right. It's just an in-house joke. We shouldn't talk about it because those people don't understand it. Oh. <laughs> no, there's nothing worse than in-house jokes. No, there is nothing worse. Exactly. Now, who's going to win, Joey? Because you're the football expert here. Port Adelaide, Geelong. And uh, I'm confident Port Adelaide How much? win. Uh, 17 points. Right, eh? Uh, Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne. Oh, this is a beauty. Bulldogs by a point. A point? Yeah, this should be the close one. Sydney Giants, SCG. I'm leaning towards Sydney. I think Sydney have found their mojo. What by? Uh, 11 points. The and Giants are wound up for that one. They think they can pull up. The yeah, I'm with you. Upset. I like the Giants. Yeah. And Brisbane, Carlton. They played once this year. Round zero. Carlton won by point at the Gabba. They did, but that was when Brisbane were a bit off early in the year. Brisbane win this by 25 points. Sorry, oh, Carlton no, fans. No, no. My <laughs> man uh, asked just down here is asking this question. Who's the most pivotal player in this final series? Oh, oh that's a good question. It's well, probably we'll try going. And answer it's it. probably going to be Chad Warner or Isaac Heaney. For the Sydney Swans to win the flag, one of those two will be the Gary Ayres medalist. There you go. What about oh. if Jamara Eugle Hagen catches fire? Oh, we yeah. don't often see a big key forward over the last ten years dominate a final series. Well, my man, big naughty. Or yeah. big no, don't discount naughty. I did. Well, don't. Oh. <laughs> Danger. Yeah, danger. Absolutely. Yes. He fires a cat's win. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Anything else, boys? Uh, the Brownlow. Yeah. 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 Brown yeah. Brown yeah. Can I quit? This will be the greatest Brownlow medal count I think we've had in 30 years. Because Ooh. when you look at it, Bonson Pally trying to chase his first 
Yep. Everyone would love to see him win it. Lockie Neal's in the mix for his third, third. which is incredible. Paddy Cripps, Cripps is a fay. Everyone loves Cripper to Dave see him Cox. win his set. And then there's obviously Nick Dacos, who could win the first of however many Brownlows he's going to win. Who knows? So it'll be one of the great counts. I think uh, Cripps will beat Dacos by a vote. Ooh. Ooh. Even Dacos got three in the last yeah, game. Yeah, I think Cripps will get three as well in that last game. And when you looked on Kingy's computer, what did it say about <laughs> Isaac Heaney's tally because if he wins, if he leads it That's a story as too. ineligible, then we will have our notepads and pens out because that will be massive. Is he in your in the top couple? He's in the top five. We'll be interested to see whether they stop giving him votes once he got suspended, just to make sure that he doesn't get the most votes. And do you think she, St Kilda should uh, keep Josh Battle or get the draft pick? Uh, if it's not going to be a top ten draft pick, they should keep Josh Battle. I'm looking at one of the 85,000 screens here at the Sporting Globe. 62. Jay Z Clark's stupid oh. heads on it. Oh. <laughs> Jay Z, you're everywhere. The journo show. Oh, that is a replay of last night's show. Very popular. Jeez. You're right, Juggernaut. If you really were right, Jim. Is that Glenn McFarlane? Yes. Just had his wisdom teeth. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to let the boys go because Jay Z's got another uh, midweek tackle to record and yes. Joey's off to Fox as well. So. Give your hands well up done, for boy. Jay-Z and Joey. Plenty more to come. JB and Bill Locke from the Sporting Globe. Oh, we've got a new segment, Jimmy boy. You know why? Because Fat's angry and had enough. Ooh. I'm had enough, Jimmy oh, boys. Right, okay. Woo! What have you had enough at? Hot topic, things that piss old Fat off. Right. Here we go. You're getting older and crankier. You are. Uh, Honourable mention... You talking about your bloody vegan diet Shut all the time. Up. That's Shut up about your vegan diet. That, no one gives a stuff that, about your vegan diet. That's why I'm coming in at the waist. I don't, Unlike you, he's going out. I'm happy to go out. I don't have to eat vegan crap. Anyway, <laughs> number one. Right, number one. On behalf of me and you, Jim. <laughs> Roadworks. Fairly yes. I drive up from Geelong today. Roadworks bloody everywhere. It's windy and rain. People can't drive. What's wrong with this joint? What were you doing in Geelong? I had business opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The 40 the 40k signs fat. Yeah, well, you can't drive from my suburb to South Melbourne yeah. without coming through 50 of them. 40k's on the Westgate, which is fair enough cuz you nearly get blown off the Westgate mm. today. It's bloody windy. Right. Yes, I agree. Number 2, Jim. Number two. Only one final in Melbourne. Yes. What's going on there, Jim? MCG, wherever it is, is a home of football. It is. It should be games played there. I can't believe that. Not happy with that. No, fair enough. Number three. Number three. Lack of parking in Richmond. Yeah. <laughs> Must have a few locals here, Jim. <laughs> we have. I'm coming to the Sporting Globe, coming from Geelong in Richmond, of course, and I can't find a park. So no, park that's fair enough. 700 metres yeah. away. It's a long way. I know. Got to perform for the Rush Hour family. Can't find a park. Get stuck, parking. It is worth driving to the uh, Sporting Globe, Richmond, though. I'm not well, saying that, of course. Drive yeah. and walk or yes. get here. The yeah. place is magnificent. Couldn't park the BT50. <laughs> right. <laughs> Number four. Number four. Uber drivers who cancel your yeah. ride. Get stuck. <laughs> they get a better offer and they cancel your gym. Not picking old fat up. Fat's cold. He's out the front of a pub somewhere and they don't pick me up. And then, and then you get cancelled again <laughs> yes. and again yes. and again. Exactly. I agree. Sucks <laughs> was that what I thought? Yeah, was that so shit fat? Yeah, it was. No, no. It sucks to be fat, I think. She's oh, right, okay. Yes. Uh, Uber drivers get stuff doing yeah, that. Yes. And number five, Jimmy Boy. Yes, go on. Why, oh, why, Jim? Yes. The trucks only break down in the tunnel. Oh, no. Nowhere else! Yeah. They don't break down out the front here, they don't break down the Geelong Road, they only break down in the bloody tunnel. I oh, know. Every day. I oh, know. And what ruin it. They ruin it for everyone. That's why when I lived in Hawthorne, I was late so often. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Making my way through the tunnel is a bloody truck broken down. So Fat's had enough, he's oh, angry, no. don't know where it goes, but that's Fat and I'm not. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't know what else. <laughs> Uh, Jace, welcome. Thank you very much. Where are you from, Jace? Ivanhoe. And talk into the mic. And what's Excellent. that top he's got on, Jim? I like it. It's one of what, your... What about T-shirts? Oh, oh, it's it's all thanks to the Carlton Draft Boys. Oh, I was impressed with it. Yeah, I won it when we had the last year grand final at the... the MCG? No, the, the, the Pelican. Oh, <laughs> the <right>. Pelican. <laughs> the Provincialer. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. 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 So he's a no, hawk. We uh, I right think it's up. Melbourne Public. Yeah. Yeah. Publican, and that's the one. It is the battle of the uh, bucket hats, yes. Jimmy boy, because we got ja uh, Jack here. G'day, Jack. Bill, boys. What do you do, Jackie boy? I'm a bartender. Uh, where? Over in the Yarra Valley. 
Oh, it's nice oh. and cold up there. A winery oh, or a yeah. pub? Or... Oh, just a pub. Just a pub, right? Are you, are you a dogs fan? No. Uh, I'm Essendon. Oh, right. Mm. Today you're a dogs fan. You're a dogs fan today. Dogs yep. fan. Got it. Yep, righto. Righto, general knowledge quiz, very, very popular. Not really. Question one. Who won the Coleman medal? This Jack. Year? Yes, Jack. Well done. Jesse Hogan. Well done. How many goals? 69. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Keep it classy, Bill. Cheap. <laughs> that's cheap and nasty. Oh, well, that's he won with 60. Yeah, 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 of course he did. Yep. Exactly. Uh, hang on, do you write that down, Jim? Right, but right. Actually, good point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Start the scoreboard. All right. I'm so, going to... Oh, yes. Number two. <coughs> Clean and jerk. Oh, oh not again. Jason. <laughs> not again. Jason. Finish the question. Yes. Uh, hang on, I'll finish the question. Clean and press and snatch... <laughs> Our terms in what Olympic sport? Jason. Yes, Jason. Weightlifting. <laughs> yeah. That's the fourth time you've used the same question. <laughs> it's, a, it's a genuine question. Just so that you can say the word snatch. <laughs> Related to the last question. <laughs> Look at him. Honestly. Clean and jerk. Clean no, no, and we heard it. <laughs> one all. It's a ring a ding 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 ding. At the moment it is, yes. Now the singing one. We love the singing all right, one. All right, here we go. Here we go. Because we're launching the finals here uh, today at the Sporting Globe, sing the next line of this famous footy and Jim's favourite song, Up There, Ghazali, of course, Mike Brady. It'll be a, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, Leroy. Just, you've gone off early Come again. on, Leroy. <laughs> um, so we're going to lead you into it, and then you come in, and you're going first, Jace. No nice worries. and loud. OK. Right up. Together, the footy wins hands down. Up there, Kazali, don't let him in. Live like an angel, we're gonna fly where we win. Up there, Kazali, in there and fight. Not bad, not bad. I don't know Very if the words good. went right. I don't know if they were the lines. No, but that's bloody good. Yeah, but Jackie Boy, <laughs> you get the words right, I reckon you can win this. But that's... Bit old for me, this one. Bit old? How old are you? 21. Captain Spaulding? That's what he sounded like, Captain Spaulding. Oh, there's a bit of Captain Spaulding. Still going, Absolutely. Captain Spaulding. He is. He is. No, he Eddie's, is. Eddie's, Eddie's Tavern. He'd be, <laughs> be 90. <laughs> Righto, here we go, uh, Jackie boy. Together, the footy wins hands down. Yeah. Up there, Kazali. In there and fight. Up like an atom. In there and fight. <laughs> I've got to give it to my man, Jace. Yeah, Thank yeah, you very I've much. I've got to give it to Jace. Uh, he's got the dark voice. I know, he's got the voice. Like deep, sounds like Tim Solly. Are you done a bit of radio? Well, I'd like to, Billy. No, 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 listen to it. Chop on the rush here. Thank you. No. Uh, score, please. Uh, Jace two, Jack one. Oh, nearest the pin, OK? Righto. Guess, and it's a guess, obviously. How many sporting <laughs> globes are there across Australia? Jason. Jace. Righto, Jace. 46. 46, says Jace. Righto. Righto uh, Jack? I'll go with uh, 84. Oh. Yeah! Oh. I, don't, I, don't think I, I don't think I've quite heard that. Just a, well, Sorry, Jack, Jack, what was that? 34. 34? 34? Yeah, that's nearest yeah. a pin! Someone, someone went off early, Jim. Oh, There's 21 oh. magnificent sporting globes across Australia. We like, we like to it. keep it even on the hump day quiz. It's All right, so ring it in, two yeah. apiece. 21, including one down in Geelong. Oh, yes. yes. Jack, two, Jace, two. Here we go. For the tickets. What is the name of the famous brewery located in Abbotsford? Tank Jason. Tank. Yes. Carlton United, Carlton Draft. Carlton Bury. Carlton United. That's it. Carlton Draft. Carlton United. Bury. What? Oh. <laughs> hey, how'd you say it? <laughs> Brewery, you dick. Brewery. <laughs> Brewery. <laughs> That's three. He wins. He wins. Yeah. Right yeah. Well, go to Hawkins. Love you, Jan and the family. Righto, here we go. A bit of fruit. Righto. Upon hearing that an elderly grandfather had just passed away, grandfather. Jim... Grandfather? Katie went straight to the grandparents' house to visit 
her 95-year-old grandmother and comfort her, Jim. Mm. When she asked how the grandfather had died, her grandmother said, he had a heart attack while we were making love on Sunday morning. Oh, my goodness. Jeez, Jim. Horrified, Katie told her grandmother that two people nearly 100 years old shouldn't be having sex. Surely it's asking for trouble. Oh, no, 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 my dear. Many years ago, we realised at our advanced age, we figured out the best time to do it is on a Sunday when the church bells would start to ring, Jim. Right. It was a nice rhythm, nice and slow and even. Nothing too strenuous, Jim. Right. On the ding and on the dong, Jim, right. OK? Yes, I see. She paused for a minute to wipe away a tear and she said, and he'd still be bloody alive if that ice cream truck didn't come along. 